Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Admission Channel. Today in this session, let's understand what is a JTL report and HTML report in the JMeter. In the last session, we have seen about the command line execution or a CLI mode of performance test in the JMeter. Let's understand what is this terminology or what are these two different reports in the JMeter. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The JTL report is nothing but the JMeter report. It is an extension of text file in the JMeter. In the last session, we have created a CSV report. And also in this session, we will create a JTL report using a CLI mode. And by using this both reports or also with the GUI mode reports, we can generate a HTML report. So we have to do the two things. First thing we have to generate JTL report. Let's do that. To do that, again, we have to open the command prompt CMD in the Windows machine. And if you are on the Mac, you open the terminal and navigate to the location where you were JMeter bin located. So this is my bin. And I'll go back to my terminal and hit enter. Now, you know, right in the last session, we have given the command called JMeter hyphen N for non GUI mode hyphen T for test file. So the test file is in there in my other location. So this is the test file. I will drag and drop into that terminal. And again, I will copy this little part for the logging. So for that again, hyphen, hyphen L. And here I will provide log.jtl. So JTL is an extension for JMeter report. So I will hit enter. So it has started. You can see the commands are executed and everything is done and of the run. So I will go back to my report or go back to the project location. If I see there is a JTL report. So if I go back to the JMeter and go to this summary report and if I browse and open this JTL file, so you can see the results are published here. So this is the Another way of getting the report, so CSV again log uh, dot JTL file will generate and this JTL file you can provide or you can dump to any of the listeners and it will give you the results. So for example, this view results tree. So view results tree, I can browse and open the JTL file and you can see, I can see the results of it. I think uh, it has not stored the response data. Maybe it is the reason it is not showing, but remaining data it has published here. So now one part is done generating of JTL report. Now second part is how we can generate a HTML report. So this is the must and uh, important aspect as part of your JMeter. So in the last uh, sessions, we have seen about the listeners, how we have given the listeners and this HTML report will play a major role in your performance stats where you have can provide this HTML report to uh, stakeholders or your peers so that they will understand the results. Now I will go to this tools and you can see here there is a generate HTML report. If I click that there is a three fields that is first one is results which is CSV or a JTL file. So we have generated a CSV file in the last session, JTL in this session. I will browse any of that. So I will go to the location where is that. Okay, in the D folder, JMeter folder, log.jtl. And the user properties. So don't worry about user properties. This is by defaultly available in your JMeter bin directory. So for that, again, I will go back to my C location and this is my JMeter bin and here I can see user properties. Now in the output directory, uh, by default, you give the location as empty uh, so that it will generate a report and give it. In case if the location is having any report, it will generate error. So for example, if I go to this uh, location, so in this location, there are many reports are there, right? So if I give the same location as it is, if I click on generate report, it is saying that it is, isn't empty. So it, it, it is looking for a folder which is empty. So for that again, I will go to the same folder and create a new folder called uh, HTML. I think I typed wrong html okay now i will provide this folder location 
so this folder location I need to provide click on generate report now it is generating a report you can see it has generated a report now you have to go back to the folder where you have created uh, provided the HTML location folder now you can see there are three uh, folders or three different uh, files it is created we have to open the index folder so if I double click on it you can see it has opened a JMeter report there is a three things here dashboard charts custom charts so if I click on charts you can see there are overtime throughput response time and the custom charts you can see over time now in the dashboard you can see the test and report information the source is log.jdl file and time started time end and the filter displays and here you can see application performance index you can see uh, tolerance threshold information because we are just going with the just a, a sample which is just a get request right so it is giving a less information but in the upcoming session we will do a full round of performance test there you will see more information this is to educate you all how we can generate HTML report so you can see the statistics here you can see the may the average mean max median percentile 90 95 19 yeah. all this information you can see and there are no errors there are top five errors by the sampler so there is nothing about in the dashboard but if I go to graphs or charts over time uh, I think this is only one sampler so it is better we shouldn't go over all these charts because there is no much statistics to get the clear report so this is the way that you can generate a JTL report using a CLI mode and HTML report using a GUI mode in case if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section I will be out in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching